Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Ben from Soccer Entrepreneur. In today's video, I'm going to be addressing a question that I've been getting a lot uh, from trainers who want to set up their own private soccer training academies. Um, so if you are a trainer who wants to do that, uh, let's say you are a college kid, um, you want to do private training on the side, or you're looking to have like a full out academy where you are helping a lot of players every month. Um, a big question I've been getting is people will write in or will be on the phone and they'll say, hey, I'm currently on coachup.com. And if you aren't familiar with that, basically what that is, it's a website where you can be featured on there as a soccer trainer. Um, and there's all the people who are in your city who are on CoachUp, there's everyone's profile. And I think it's actually a great uh, website. They figured out how to help a lot of people who don't want to do their own marketing. Um, and I think it's great for people who want to just be on something to get more exposure. Um, and I'm going to tell you kind of my method and why I think having your own brand is going to be a lot more powerful for you. Um, but if you are a trainer right now who is struggling to, to get your message out there, um, that might be a good solution for you. Uh, if you aren't familiar with making a website, you know, being on Coach Up could be a good call for you. But I'm going to tell you like the pros and the cons of being on there. So a couple pros of being on listed on, on someone else's website is they're going to put together, you know, your, your page, their, your profile. It looks very clean. Um, they're going to handle all of the payments. They're going to handle the insurance. Um, they make everything look and appear good on your end. And it makes it look professional when people are signing up. You know, all that is good. Um, and some of the cons, though, that I've noticed is when you are on there, you are always going to be compared to other trainers on there. And the reason why I don't like that is because let's say you charge $50 per session, 40 to $60 per session is very standard um, for most trainers on Coacha. Um, and let's say there's someone else on there that charges $15 and they're a great trainer. Who, if parents, if their objection is price, they're always going to go with the lower price guy. Um, and they wouldn't know about that guy unless they were on coach up looking at your profile and, and kind of comparing you to other people. And the reason why I always tell people to have their own brand is because when they're on your website, they are locked in on what you're doing, on what you're offering. And I think there's so many benefits there because it's going to show the parents um, that this is what you do. You're, you're not just doing this on the side. You're doing this full time. Whether you do it full-time or not, having your own brand is key because that separates you from what other people are doing. And that's why we have our own website. Um, and there's so many different ways you could build a cheap website. Um, I think they're very simple to do. You could go to squarespace.com. I think you pay like $10 a month. Um, and I've never really explained too much about this in the past on other videos or, or other podcasts, but... <laughs> everything's going to come down to search ranking. So a lot of people who start training players, this is something they don't think about at the beginning is if I'm going to have a website, how am I going to get a lot of people in my town to see that? And a, another pro for, for coach up is like they advertise. So like they will show up normally, typically one or number two um, for private soccer training in whatever city you, you live in. So you can just fill in the blank, private soccer training Atlanta or private soccer training Chicago. Um, and like I said, though, the problem is once people click on that, they're going to go to a page where they're going to see a bunch of trainers. There could be 20 trainers or 50 trainers or 100 trainers. Depending on the, the size of your city, you're going to be compared against them. Or you could have your own site, your own brand, your own landing page where people will see you. They, they are more comfortable because... They can see results of the players that you've trained. Um, they can see all the different training options. They see a picture of you. They, there's a, a billing system there. I mean, everything can look a hundred times more professional when you have your own brand. And the reason why I want to create this video though is because I never want you to feel like you have to compare what you're doing to anyone else. And when you go on websites like that, 
it's instantly like compare mode and that, that's why parents are there they're shopping they're, they're seeing who the best trainer is and when you have your own site though when you have your own brand that separates you from other people because most trainers out there honestly are not willing to take the amount of time to do that but if you already know what your site if you already know what it wants to look like it'll take you probably less than two three hours to actually do that um, and that's something that we figured out here that's worked great for us um, most people will go and coach up in my town and that's cool. Um, we don't want to compare ourselves. We don't want to compare our prices or, or anything to what other people do. Um, and that's why I think it's very powerful to have your own thing, to separate you from everyone else. You, wherever the crowd is, you want to do the opposite, go away from the crowd and do your own thing. Um, and that's why I want to shoot this quick video, uh, because, I see a lot of people out there, they fall into that trap of just comparing themselves to everyone else. And when they want to raise their prices, they, they don't do it because no one else is doing that. Um, and when you do your own thing, you can run things however you want. Um, so if you like today's video, uh, click the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments section uh, what questions you have. And if you're brand new here, if this is the first time watching one of my videos um, or listening to the podcast, um, I wanted to welcome you and tell you that I have a great resource uh, for you right now. So if you want to start your academy, I created a book. It's called the Startup Soccer Academy. Um, it's great for people who want to do this as a full-time thing. If you want to learn from A to Z the required steps to starting your academy and scaling it, um, that's a great resource for you. That's going to be linked in the description box below. Um, you can just click that there, go check it out. Um, it's helped a ton of trainers, uh, especially recently. Um, and if you like that, um, definitely share it with some other trainers that you know. Uh, probably don't want to do that with people that are in your town because I want you to have the advantage. Um, but I put a lot of time and, and energy into that resource. Um, and basically seven years worth of, of training have gone into that. Um, so I know you're going to love that. And subscribe to our channel. I'm going to be having one video and one podcast every single week for 2017. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions, shoot me an email at startyoursoccercademy at gmail.com and I'll catch you next time.